Well, hello and welcome, everybody. I've got a problem here that I absolutely love. I love when these problems work out like this one does. So I'm glad you're here with me. We're going to hang out, do a little math, have some fun. Let's get into the details of this question. So we've got two squares, an outer square and an inner square. The inner square has an area of 144. We've got this little triangle right here. It's got an area of 13 units, whatever that might be, units that is. And we've got a little red circle tucked away over here. We've got to find the area of that circle. That circle's tangent to the outer square in two spots and this little diagonal inner square here. So those are our clues. So if you'd like to try this one on your own, go ahead and pause the video. Give it a shot now because I'm going to dive into it here in just a second and kind of give away my game plan. All right, so here's my game plan. If you have something different, I would really love to hear from you in the comments. Also, if this is a formula you've never seen before, hey, let me know. Here's the formula I'm going to use. The radius of this circle is going to be a plus b minus c divided by 2. Now, if you'd like to see where that formula comes from, it's rather new to me. Uh, I made a video about it a few weeks ago. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But here's where that formula is talking about. The a, b, and c, those are just like a squared plus b squared minus c squared, where c is the hypotenuse and a and b are the legs. So if I can find out the side lengths of this triangle... I know the radius is going to be a plus b minus c divided by 2. That's a super, super cool formula. It's rather new to me. I know it's old hat to a lot of people, but, you know, we're all learning as we go, and I'm learning stuff when I make these videos and having a good time doing it. Hope you are, too. If you are, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Let's see if we can attack this and figure out what a, b, and c are, right? So first thing first, I know that the area of that inner square, the diagonal, kind of square the slanted one is 144 that makes the side lengths 12 because it's a square so the side length squared is the area 12 squared is 144 so this side length is 12 and that side length also happens to be the hypotenuse of the circle so therefore c is going to be equal to 12 all right now here's a claim i'll support it here in just a second but i'm going to claim that all four of these triangles on the outside are congruent. These four right here, do you see them? Now, visually, we can tell they are. I can put them on top of each other without doing any sort of, I don't know, changing their size, right? But uh, let's see if we can come up with a mathematical justification for why they are congruent, all right? So now we've got a square on the inside and a square on the outside. That means that we have some 90-degree angles, which makes this angle in green and this one in that peachish color. We'll call them M and N, complementary. They have to add up to 90 because the angles of a triangle add up to 180, right? Now, M and N are complementary. Well, this angle P over here and N are also complementary because, well, N and P and this 90 degree angle make a, well, a straight line. So they make 180 degrees. This one's 90. So that means that N and P also must make 90. Well, since N and P are complementary and N and M are complementary, that means M and P have the same measure. So this angle right here is the same as M. And once again, because this is a right triangle, M is here, N, or this angle right here is going to be complementary with M, so it would be the same as angle N as well. All right, so that tells us for sure that they're at least similar because we know that all these triangles, we can continue the same argument all the way around. All these triangles have the same angles so that are at least similar. So now let's talk about a side length. See if we can get the dimensions is the same too. Well, we already said that the hypotenuse was 12, and that's 12 all the way around. So pretty easy to grab angle side angle to show that these triangles are all congruent. All right, so now let's go ahead and dive into that, right? So because this triangle has an area of 13, all four triangles have an area of 13 each. Since the square is 144, that means square A, B, C, D, the biggest square on the outside is 144 plus 52, 4 times 13. That makes 196. All right, so now let's see how we can tie that into the triangle with the sides A and B. So here's A and B. Well, because all the triangles are congruent, this length over here from A to E is also side B, and H to C is side A. So therefore, the side lengths are A plus B. So side length squared, A plus B squared, is 196. That means A plus B must equal 14. Now, I don't know what A is. I don't know what B is, but I also don't need to. I just need to know that they are 14 because my formula is A plus B minus C. So A plus B is 14 
C is 12. 14 minus 12 divided by 2, that's famously known as 1. So I can use that in my formula for the area of a circle, pi r squared. r is 1, 1 squared is 1. The area of that little red circle is just pi. How cool is that? I think that is super cool. If you thought it was cool too, hey, leave me a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. If you did this problem in a different way, I would really love to hear from you. I hope you had as much fun with this problem as I did. I had a blast doing it, and I hope you have a great day, and I hope I see you soon.